poetry asks us to pay close attention to words, to line breaks, to one another. The finalist for the 2021 National Book Award for Poetry, Mind the Complexities of the Past, Document the Impacts and Echoes of Trauma, and Investigate Existence and Identity. And yet, these books also ask us to empathize, to imagine, and to recognize beauty within the complexity of human life. The panel chair for this year's National Book Award for Poetry is A. Van Jordan, the author of four poetry collections. A Lannan Literary Award winner, he is the director of the Helen Zell Writers Program at the University of Michigan. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. Chairing this year's National Book Award jury for poetry has been not only one of the great honors of my career, but it's also been one of the great joys. It's a real gift when you're called to service and despite the work involved, it also turns out to be a good time. Beyond the wonderful books we read this year, and I'm including the many books that didn't make it to the list of finalists, I also felt lucky to work with some poets whose work on the page I already admired. And I'm happy to report that their brilliance on the page matches their good spirits in the world. The foundation chooses the jurors, not the chair. So I said yes to chairing before knowing with whom I'd be working. But when I saw the names of the jurors for poetry, I was as excited as Tom Cruise on Oprah's couch. I know I couldn't have chosen a finer group of poets if I had chosen them myself. I want to thank Don Mi Choi, who was a quiet storm of wisdom. Natalie Diaz, who brought her deeply insightful voice to every meeting. Mattia Harvey, who always led the way both with her picks and with her openness and her intuitiveness. And Ilya Kaminsky, who always caught anything we missed along the way, not only with his attention to detail, but also with his big, generous heart. For all of their hard work and their generosity and for their deep emotional maturity throughout this process, I want to thank them. We are so proud to present to you our finalists for this year's National Book Award in Poetry. And they are What Noise Against the Cane, Desiree C. Bailey, Yale University Press. Floaters, Poems, Martina Spada, W.W. W. Norton and Company. Show, Douglas Kearney, Wave Books. A Thousand Times You Lose Your Treasure While When, also wave books. The sunflower cast a spell to save us from the void. Jackie Wang, Night Boat Books. And this year's National Book Award for Poetry goes to Floaters, Poems by Martine Espada. Martine Espada, Floaters. W. W. Norton and Company. Martina Spada's Floaters manages to address the concerns of our times through a timeless voice that can be heard above this cacophonous world. These poems remind us of the power of observation, of seeing everything, what's in front of us, what's behind us, both in memory and in heritage, and what we can only imagine, believing all are worthy of song, all are worthy of taking seriously within our song. This is a collection that is vital for our times and will be vital for those in the future, trying to make sense of today. Thank you very much. Um, I am, I am uh, speechless uh, to a large extent because I did not prepare a speech but also because I am very honored um, by my selection as uh, the recipient of the National Book Award for Poetry uh, in 2021. Um, there isn't enough time for me to thank everyone who deserves to be thanked. Um, I will miss some names and I beg your apology. Um, I wanna begin by thanking my wife, Lauren Marie Schmidt, uh, to whom the book is dedicated, and who is present on every single page of Floaters. 
um, her love and support um, mean absolutely the world to me. I want to thank um, my editor, Jill Bielowski, and uh, my publisher, W.W. W. Norton. I want to thank my agent, uh, Rob Quilkin. Um, I want to thank someone who is not here, um, my father, Francisco Luis Espada, Frank Espada, um, who uh, provided both an uh, artistic and an ethical example to me throughout my life, and again, uh, throughout every page of Flubers. I want to acknowledge the work of the other poets who were finalists this year. Um, I, uh, I, I know what it's like to be where I am, and I know what it's like to be where you are. Um, and I hope that we can form uh, friendships, relationships independently of the National Book Awards. Uh, and finally, I'd like to thank the judges. Um, that's all I have to say. I'm sure I'll think of many more intelligent things to say once I leave your screen. Thank you. Muchas gracias.